everyone, Jesse from Raw Fuel Motorsports. Today we're going to show you the install of the Snow Tracker carbides on the Pilot 5.7 skis. Now for this install, we've opted to go with the semi-aggressive model of the carbides. However, the installation is going to be the same for all the models. The tools you're going to need for this install are a hammer, half-inch drive ratchet, extension piece, a 9 16 half-inch and 15 mil deep sockets, 16 mil box end wrench, half inch and 3 8 drill bits, a marker, measuring tape, and a utility knife just to help take the burrs off the skis after you've drilled. Something that's going to really help you with this install is to have a vise and a clean workspace. So to keep things simple, we've removed the ski from the sled. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove this center bolt. It has a 15 millimeter nut and a 16 millimeter head. I always like to keep the bolts and the nuts together. It keeps things uh, more simple when you go to put everything back together. The next thing that you're going to want to do is remove your stock center carbides or whatever carbides that you have on your skis. For these ones here, it's a 9 16 head. So we're going to start by removing them. Now, a trick that I like to use is to leave the nuts on the bolts themselves. When you go to use your hammer to remove these, then you're not going to round the top of the uh, threads. And then just go ahead and finish removing those nuts. Now, if you like, you can choose to remove this rubber pad. Then it won't fall out. It's actually marked right on it which way it's supposed to face the front. Now you've got your old carbides removed, we're going to set those to the side and we're going to flip the ski around. You're going to get yourself a measuring tape and a marker. <clears throat> You're going to want to take a measurement from the center of the hole that's the closest to the front of the ski. You're going to want to measure eight and a quarter inches from the center of the front hole and just put a little mark. Now it's really important that the holes are drilled in the center of the ski because that's what's going to allow your carbides to align. So you can eye it up. It's going to be the center of this rib right here is where you're going to want your hole drilled through. You're going to take uh, just a regular drill and a 3 8 drill bit and this is the hole that you're going to drill. You're going to want to drill this hole on an angle forward. Okay, and you can see that's roughly going to sit about there. And the hole that we're drilling is for this piece right here to be going into. So to make things more simple, we're going to start drilling straight up and down on the ski itself. Nice and slow, so it's centered. And then at this point, you can start leaning the drill towards the front of the ski. We're going to use our 3 8 hole as a pilot bit. We're going to have to step this hole up to half inch. And again, just clean up the burrs on the side. Just keeps things nice and neat. And then this piece just slides right in. And you'll see it sits nice and flush on the ski. So you want to take your snow tracker carbide. You'll see that it's going to require two holes in the front. So we're actually going to have to drill one more hole through.
So the next hole that we're going to drill is going to be two and a half inches forward, again from your front center of your front hole. So we'll measure our two and a half inches and we'll put a little mark there as well. Again, you want to be sure that these holes are drilled in the center of the seat. So we're going to go back to our 3 8 drill bit, which is going to be our final hole size for these carbides. We're going to want to drill straight up and down the existing holes. And then drill one more at your two and a half mark, uh, two and a half inches in front of uh, the uh, front hole. And again, all these holes are going to be drilled right up and down. So that's what it's going to look like from the bottom. I'm just going to remove this out of the vise and expose the top of the scheme so that we can put our angled washers and our nuts. So this kit comes with two angled washers and one flat washer per carbide. The flat washer goes on the front bolt of the carbide and the angled washers go on the two rear bolts. You'll be able to see on the skis they're sloped backwards. These nuts are actually crimped nuts which are a locking style of nut that are going to go on. So you won't be able to thread them on too far by hand. But that's normal. That's the way these nuts are designed, and it's to stop them from coming off on their own. Now you're going to take your half inch socket and tighten these down. 